Good evening, people watching M65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. It is <laughs> in Psalm. I, you know what? Psalm just has every encouraging verse there is. And this is a favorite also. I have many favorites, but this is a favorite. Psalm 37, 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you, he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. That's a promise. Not only to the Jews, but to us, his children also. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. A lot going on right now concerning Russia. I'm going to give you the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. Not only are we saved, but we are protected. We are protected. We're shielded by the blood of Jesus. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, we are whosoever, whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you, speak to you, teach you, love you encourage you change you that's what he does went to the eye doctor today before i get into this and something <laughs> i didn't even know this now i had went to the eye doctor six months ago i had to get a prescription for glasses I come to find out he asked me as he said are you having a hard time with those glasses i said yeah and i just got them he said, that's because the prescription is overpowered because I've lost weight. I had no idea about that. I said, I did not know that. <laughs> I didn't know that weight had anything to do with that. And he said, yeah, it does. So my vision is, is changing. That I didn't know. That's one thing. Number two... Zachariah is taking his driving test this coming Thursday. So, be in prayer for that. If we're still here, I should say. <laughs> if we're still here. So, just saying. Um, anyway, Russia is warning of World War III over UK troop plan. Now, I did a video about this troop plan i think either yesterday or the day before one of those days so this is saying here that uh putin's closest ally which is medvedev and someone had sent me something about this earlier one of my subscribers had sent me something about this earlier and i missed it i didn't i totally missed this so he has threatened to unleash World War III on the West if the UK sends troops onto Ukrainian soil. Now, the UK is actually talking about doing that. So on Sunday, Dmitry Medvedev said that British soldiers training soldiers inside Ukraine would be legitimate targets for Russian forces and ruthlessly destroyed. The Kremlin's mouthpiece furious claims were made after British Defense Secretary Grant Shapps said he was considering deploying UK troops to train soldiers inside Ukraine. Medvedev is seen as uh, Putin's yes man. He's his right hand man. He's his yes man. And often makes threats aimed at NATO states. 
So the latest chilling warning is that the West actions are bringing the world to the brink, to the very cusp of a nuclear war. So while the world is on the very cusp of Gog, Magog, nuclear war, whatever, the church is on the very cusp of the rapture. Because all this stuff is coming out now. I told you a few days ago, a couple of days ago, that this week was going to be a doozy. And it's starting out to be one. So he directed his fury at uh, Grant Shapps, who told the Sunday Telegraph, that he wants to eventually deploy military instructors to Ukraine to train Ukrainian troops in Britain. In a post on Telegram, Medvedev, he was fuming, and that's putting it mildly. The number of leading idiots in NATO countries is growing. One newly minted cre... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> when I see the word cretin... I think of Spongebob, so forgive me, but that's what he used here. Cretan. <laughs> the British Minister of Defense decided to transfer English training courses for Ukrainian soldiers to the territory of Ukraine itself. It says these idiots are actively pushing us towards Third World War, he continued. This will turn their instructors into a legal target for our armed forces. Understanding perfectly well that they will be ruthlessly destroyed and not as mercenaries, but namely as British NATO specialists. So, this is going on and on. It also says, meanwhile, Russian cyber criminals targeted the royal family yesterday. After Charles, Charles's condemnation of the Ukraine war. So there is a lot going on right now. Then the Hill, the Hill came out with this. And this is saying, and this just came out about an hour ago. I just got this not too long ago. Russia may be testing a nuclear powered missile. Now, there is a 11 time zone tests that's supposed to be going on tomorrow. And actually, it's tomorrow now, their time. So Russia may be preparing to test an experimental nuclear-powered cruise missile with a range of up to 14, listen, 14,000 miles, which could definitely hit the U.S. I mean... And this is according to the New York Times. The missile known as the, don't now, don't judge me because I'm going to say this and I know I'm going to butcher it, but the Barif, <laughs> the Barivanesnik, or yeah, something like that. That's the name of this thing. Has, it's failed in the past and once caused an accident that resulted in a few deaths. But the Bura Resnik, that's what I think it is, also known, known in the West as the RS SSC X09 Skyfall, would give Russia an extremely long range intercontinental ballistic missile if future tests are successful and the weapon enters Moscow's arsenal. This could be why this why he's doing this test tomorrow. Like I said, it could be nothing. No one could get affected by it. You don't we don't know. We don't know. But the New York Times reported satellite images of a base in the Russian Arctic indicating movement of aircraft and vehicles consistent with previous tests while Russia has also issued an aviation notice also consistent with previous tests that has been extended through this Friday. The U.S. has also flown surveillance aircraft near the base 
for two weeks now and a small increase in activity that could indicate a large concern from uh, Washington. It's still unclear if the missile has already been tested or if it will be tested in the near future according to the Times. This missile was introduced in 2018, part of a new array of nuclear arms designed to achieve longer flight and faster speeds. Little is known about the missile, including the design, as Russia has kept it closely under wraps. So, I, like I said, this thing that they're doing, this test, it could be about this. I don't know. I have no idea. But it's a, it's, Russia's doing some moves right now. And we don't know what they are or who they're going to hit. If this whole thing is actually an exercise or if it's just nothing. Or if it's an actual nuke. Or if it's, like I said, nothing. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking probably nothing is going to happen. But there again, I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm going to link both of these in the description box and um, anything else comes up. Um, let me see if Hal Turner's got anything. Oh yeah, he did. So, <laughs> um, wow, this is interesting. <laughs> He just got a text message from his power company. There is a planned power outage tomorrow for his area. He said he just received a text from the electric company in the Pennsylvania house telling him of a planned power outage tomorrow, except it wasn't planned. Like I said, I don't know. It could be nothing. It could be something. We have no idea. We will see. I'll link this in the description box also. I haven't gotten anything here. We haven't gotten anything at all. Everything's working fine so far. So, anyway, if anything comes up, I will let you know. In the meantime, good night. Thank you.